okay so i am starting the recording here so today we are going to discuss about the btp first of all what is btp here right so everybody in the mind there is a what is btp here everybody there is a question what is btp how it is important to the basis team members who are already working on the sap how it is important who already new to sap also how it is important whether they can learn btp or not so okay so here btp btp is not new actually it's not a new technology sap in 2021 sap 2011 not the 2021 in 2011 sap it's already they have introduced the btp but there is a different naming convention here so in john 2021 in john 2021 the sap introduced the this name sap introduced the a unique name unique name name and unique name and powerful solution is called the btp business technology platform so business technology platform what does it mean by technology platform so this is the platform for the customers where they can directly subscribe their services and they can subscribe their services and they can start working on the systems here you don't need to maintain the infrastructures softwares you don't need to install anything. You don't need to support anything here. It is a platform as a service. BTP is a platform as a service. It is the platform as a service. P A A S platform as a service. So normally we know. Normally, normally here everybody so have one idea. I think in the cloud base in the cloud terminology. First of all, we should understand the, the cloud terminology here, right? So what is mean by PaaS? In the cloud side, there are the three different terminologies here. So PAS, right? So and also AAIAS and PAAIS and SASS, right? So platform as a service, then infrastructure, 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 as a service and platform as a service and also software software as a service so before we go detailed about the the btp platform first of all we should know about the what is this in the cloud terminology so we have something called the infrastructure ias pas sas so what is this here first of all so what is this cloud computing here in the cloud in the cloud we are taking the rental we are taking the renting for the space digital rental we are taking the renting for the space services so and also cpu memory infrastructure instead of maintaining the our own physical hardware we are taking the rental in the cloud environments right so normally Anywhere, if you go to store, access, data, program, online, anything, so just we can do that one, right? Anything, we can go any cloud providers. Normally, we have the cloud providers, the, the number of cloud providers are there in the market, right? As we know, so AWS, right? Azure, and also we have, so GCP and SAP, Heck, Heck Cloud Provider, and also Alibaba Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, and also IBM cloud they are the cloud providers are there they are providing the infrastructure to us means they are giving the we are we are taking the renting so we are taking the rental for digital space services on the we are taking the rent instead of maintaining the everything so we are taking the rent for this um, this cloud providers they are the three main types of cloud services here these are the cloud providers who are providing the infrastructure to us they are the main three types of cloud services in the cloud so one is the infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service here 
So first of all, let's start discussing about the IAAS, Infrastructure as a Service. So what does it mean by normally we see? So whether your cloud provider is the, whether you are taking the IAS or SaaS, normally these questions we may get, right? So what is IAS, Infrastructure as a Service, which means, so it's like a renting a computer in the cloud means basic the basic building of blocks we will get from the like virtual servers storage network all those things we are getting infrastructure server infrastructure means servers uh like uh, rental rental servers like storage network so here we are get we will get the infrastructure then we have to decide what software we have to run it then we have to install the software on the we have to install on the software here. Why? Because we are taking the rental infrastructure rental infrastructure. We are taking the infrastructure rental. So just to, we have to we have to take the rent and we have to install our SAP software or HANA software or whatever software we have to install on the infrastructure and we have to support. That is called the infrastructure as a service. Here, infrastructure, everything is provided by the SAP, the related cloud provider. So everything is providing by the related cloud provider. Only we have to install our service. We have to maintain our service, everything. So we have everything here. So here we are only paying for the power, infrastructure, space, RAM. The only those things we have to pay the amount. Remaining everything is our responsibility. Softwares, installations, everything is our responsibility here. Right? So responsibility. The next one, what is... PAS here, right? So what is what is here? PAAS here, platform as a service here. It's a it's a platform. It's platform offers like it's a ready-made platform for the application development here. Ready-made platforms. So which means so in the infrastructure already some software is already installed, ready-made, ready-made. I mean I mean to say the word is I think you know right ready-made software ready-made software it's ready-made just you can go for so ready-made means just i will take you the one example here so you are purchasing the one hotel which means ready-made kitchen is there everything is ready-made just you will go and you pay for the rent directly you can cook it everything is available from there in the rent in the kitchen everything is available here so pas like a renting a ready to use the kitchen instead of building from scratch it provides the tools and services so directly the developers they can create test deploy the applications without without building any infrastructure or anything here so it's ready made ready made everything is available here right example btp so btp is a platform as a service which means all the services, all the tools, everything is available in the BTP platform. Just you can go ahead and use it ready-made. Everything is ready-made. You can just go ahead and use, use your use case, test your use case, build your use case. So perform all those things here. So platform as a service, BTP is a platform as a service. Everything is ready-made available. Just you can go ahead and you can use that related service here. Right? The next one is the SaaS, SaaS products. SaaS means SaaS products. So SaaS software as a service here. So what is SaaS means here? SaaS means here renting a software instead of buying it here. Here software also will be installed. Just the software also installed on the infrastructure. Infrastructure, the related software is also available. Only data is ours. Only data is ours the maintenance of the softwares everything is by so they they will support it only data is ours so you can access use of the software over the internet no need to for the installation no need for the do anything here just to normally uh, example best example favorite songs how we will go to the youtube or from music player how will you stream our favorite songs favorite sums via applications that is the safe good good example right so that's why so in the cloud area we have the three terminologies there are three types of cloud services sap is providing whether you need ready to use everything here then platform as a service 
then software the software also they will be installed just you can go ahead and access it so that is the reason best example s4 ana cloud s4 ana cloud here so everything is supported by just you can use the data and also success factors success factors everything you can use it here right platform as a service here just a platform just to, you can just to uh, subscribe that service you can inst then you can use it here here is infrastructure that they will only provide the infrastructure then you can go ahead and install the respective software you can use it here so that is the the difference between the platform as a service and so service as software as a service and and this is the infrastructure as a service here so btp will comes under platform as a service here so why i mentioned or why sap mentioned platform as a service so it is the platform for the all the customers who they can directly go ahead and subscribe their related services they can do that one you don't need to build the infrastructure operating system network space so all those things you don't need here directly install the service so just directly go ahead pick that one we can use it here it kind of ready made kitchen ready made kitchen here i will give you the best example when we go to the in the next top further further discussions so in the simple terminology i will explain it here so btp is the one of the technical foundation for the entire sap ecosystems it's plays a very crucial roles for the all the sap customers and partners so btp platform is playing a very crucial role for all the customers is playing a very crucial role just you can access the btp cockpit then you can subscribe the related services you can use it that's it suppose example suppose if you want to book a book something here then you will go to the amazon right you will go to the amazon user interface then they will you, you will book the related products and everything which means the related uh, the related vendor is uh, related vendor is not selling all the I mean, which means amazon is not uh, not giving everything to you so the vendors they will place the vendors they will place the items in the amazon then we are going to amazon cockpit one centralized cockpit amazon or flipkart then we are booking the order then the next day next two days you are you are getting the order to your home which means amazon is not not preparing amazon is not selling those items just amazon is the one of the user interface here where you can go and do uh, order all your related needs whatever you required you can you are ordering in one place so that is the amazon same as like in amazon btp cockpit is the one of the centralized cockpit where you can go ahead and subscribe uh, related service you can use it right in which cloud you want to use it in which system which service you want to use it that is your wish so you go to the btp cockpit btp cockpit is the one of the user interface there you can go ahead and you can use it here btp cockpit here that is the cockpit of the user interface here ui there you can go ahead and you can use that one here right so here the new new learners who don't have already experience on the sap they can also learn the btp here who already having the experience they can upskill upskill to the the higher technologies like btp cockpit some cloud level technologies you can uplift here so normally business btp is the abbreviation is called the business technology platform business technology platform here so just you can so the btp helps you focus on your business taking care of the everything else instead of suppose if you want to go if you want to start your restaurant business here just btp is helping here building the infrastructure preparing the shop chairs menu everything directly btp will help you directly the customer directly go and sit into the in front of the seat then we can run the business restaurant business which means the customer don't need to go and supply the build the place build the building then so purchase the infrastructures all those things is not required here btp helps you focus on your business remaining everything they will take care of all those things here means remaining all the services are available in the btp just you can go ahead and 
you can subscribe that that is given first taking the rent shop rent setting the job rent here to achieve your goal first thing is so first of all taking the shop rent here instead of wasting the time on taking the infrastructure 150 square yards in the one central location then uh, construction then after that when the construction is completed then then next step is the preparation infrastructures all those things suppose example best example i will give you here btp what is, is the btp best example in our layman language i will give you the one best example here right suppose you want to you are a so suppose you want to run a business right some of the restaurant business uh, some of the food business you want to run a business if you want to run a business nowadays what you required here you need one office right definitely you need a office some place you required in the central location in that place in that place so you have to take the permissions place permissions then constructions right then infrastructure preparation all those things chairs tables and everything then software preparations for the building department so then workers right so you need to do all those things if you want to start a restaurant business you need to start from from local to high level up to preparation works all those things groundwork we have to do it here so but if you take the rent from the other shops, taking the rent, rent means the restaurant is only ready for you. Just you can go ahead and run your business. That's it. You don't need to build the infrastructure. The shops are ready. Directly go ahead and be, go directly go ahead and take the directly go ahead and run the run your business. That is the taking a rent of the restaurant here. Taking a rent means who prepared here restaurant everything. So BTP SAP is prepared everything for you directly go ahead and run your business your focus is running on the application content business content your logic and everything so not to preparation work infrastructure work all those things here installation not all those things are not required here so so that's just you need to find a shop on the rent then you need to run the shop here that's it your procurement tail vendor equipment your of the kitchen searching the vendor help you the interior exterior so all those blah 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 things are not required for you here so just take the rent, rent of the shop, then you can run your business. That's it. That is the, the main thing here. So here, the main thing is you are achieving is there is no infrastructure preparation. There is no security preparation. So ready tools are available here. Training to stop. Just you can train the shop and run your business. That's it. That is only one thing here. So let's, let's give you the, first of all, history of the BTP here. BTP here. So BTP, when it was started, first of all, so when SAP first it was started here, the history of the BTP, I will explain it here, history here, right? So here BTP, BTP in 2020, 2012, in 2012, SAP entered into, SAP entered, SAP entered into path market here, platform as a service with one of the Netweaver product called the SAP Netweaver Cloud. So one of the proud one of the products they have into the cloud fast market. So platform as a service market in 2012 they have started the platform as a service market in the 2012 they have started here. So that's why their short code is called the Neo Netweaver Cloud Netweaver on the demand Netweaver Cloud they have started here. That is a short form here. Then after that. They have changed, they have changed the, in the 2013, the 2013, the Netweaver Cloud, Netweaver Cloud, they have renamed to the, renamed to the HANA Cloud here, HANA Platform, HANA Cloud Platform here, HANA Cloud Platform here. In the 2013, they have changed their naming convention to the HANA Cloud Platform here. In 2013 here, SAP Netweaver Cloud renamed to HANA Cloud Platform here. The first SAP Cloud is called the Neo Cloud. SAP Netweaver Cloud. Netweaver Cloud here. In the 2012 itself, they have started. So they have started interviewing the cloud level here. Then 2013, they have renamed to the HANA Cloud here. Then later, some years, some years, they have run, they have successfully HANA Cloud. 
on a cloud platform they have executed but in 27 there is a new addition to the hana cloud that is called the cloud foundry cloud foundry they have new introduced they have introduced the cloud foundry to your neo platform your hana cloud so they have introduced the cloud foundry here in 20, 2017 they have the cloud foundry environment they have introduced it here so slowly slowly they have dropped the so they have dropped the hana cloud here so slowly this is the sap hana cloud platform here in 2017 itself in the 2017 they have introduced the cloud platform here then they have dropped the the hana from hana from sap hana cloud platform 2 so hcp2 then then they have just changed to the sap cloud platform which means first they have introduced the sap netweaver cloud then 2013 they have renamed their brand to the sap hana cloud platform then 2017 they have introduced the new functionality cloud foundry environment they have introduced it here then 2017 they have changed their naming ana cloud means maybe they have rethinked their uh, renamed platform then they have dropped the hana from the cloud platform to just hana sap cloud platform there is no hana here there is no hana here then after that up to they have executed fine in 2021 in 2021 sap sap SCP, SAP cloud platform. So the brand, whatever the, they have brand, right? Cloud platform here. Their brand, this is the brand, their brand here. Their brand, they retired and they have renamed the, the new brand name. There is a new brand name is called the brand name is called the SAP business technology platform. In 2021 itself, in John 2020, John, John 2021 itself, they have introduced the so this sap btp platform they have changed their brand to business technology platform here officially they have retired the support of the so sap cloud platform then btp was introduced as a new brand name for their business that is called the sap btp which provides the extended functionality and also the core is still equivalent to the the core is same. The core is same to the SAP cloud platform only. Just they have introduced the, their new brand called the BTP. And so they are using here. BTP is not so is not the replacement of the cloud platform. It is a just changed their brand to the SAP, SAP cloud platform to SAP BTP. BTP. So why they have changed their so normally everybody, everybody they have sir why they have changed that sap cloud platform to btp cloud platform the name also very good right why they have changed in 2021 right they have started at 2012 into the neo market then later so neo to sap cloud platform then hana they have re hana hana, hana service hana name they have dropped and cloud platform they have introduced it then cloud platform to there is a new brand name is called the sap btp btp they have introduced it here btp they have introduced it here so why so here why they have introduced why they have changed brand one means as per my name my understanding here cloud platform sap cloud platform was originally focused on sap cloud platform originally focused on providing the cloud based services for the business however as a time went on the sap realized that so they are providing the platform was offering more than cloud services they are not only providing the services they think like right, okay they are also providing the platform for the customers so for the cloud services then it is also included their technologies called the application development analytics integration there are more things they are offering in the cloud side then so why should i why why we should keep the SAP cloud platform. They are not only providing the cloud services, right? 
for the development related services some other things analytical services many things they are providing here so to better represent the to better represent the their services sap decided to rebrand their platform as a business technology platform as a business technology platform here so that the new name helps to the customers to understand okay this is the platform business it's not limited to the only cloud it is a platform where directly we can go ahead and run our software business everything here depends upon the technology so to summarize sap rebranded their sap cloud platform to the btp to better understanding purpose for the customers so which means they are not only providing the cloud uh, cloud related services so they are providing the technology they are providing the analytics they are providing the development related i mean to say they are providing the platform for the customers to so build their development and everything here right so this is the this is the why history of the btp when they have introduced and everything here so what are the services my last thing here i will not go i will not take more than 10 minutes from now on watch i guess it's a weekend for everyone i will not take more time okay so normally what are the services sap is btp in the btp currently they are providing here what are the services sap is providing here so they are the btp their services they have categorized into the five types here so five types of services they are providing in the btp here so one is the application development related services they are providing here application development application development related services here then automation automation related services they are providing here the third one is called the then integration some integration suit the pi po related integration suit they are providing here the fourth one is called the database data and the database analytics i mean to say analytics related services right the fifth one is called the ai artificial intelligent ai core ai launch pad ai core and ai launch pad so these are the services which is providing by the sap here these are the five types of services currently they are providing here so development related services here application developments the developers who wants to run the code no code application builds some of the applications some of the mobile services they need they have to use the application development related services they can use it here the people who wants to go for the automation kind of things chatbots rpa workflows rules task center automation kind of things they can use the automation related services here integration they are the integration suit process integration pi related messages to so packages workflows i flows everything they can go for this integration suit here data and data analytics here database and data analytics like sap is providing the databases also here sap hana cloud ac analytics cloud data sphere mdz master data governance related data and analytics cloud and also ai related ai core launch pad these are the services sap is providing so they are not limited there are many services main they services they are providing the software they have categorized into the five types here one is the application development related automation kind of things integration related data analytics related the recent one newly introduced the ai artificial intelligent related services they are providing to the customers here so this is about the btp what is btp means say business technology platform for the customers who wants to run the business without spending any infrastructure directly to run the business so without doing any installations infrastructure network anything directly they can use the btp btp cockpit they can run the business itself within the fraction of milliseconds here right suppose if you want to run the business what you required we need infrastructure place then uh, we have to build the uh, data center then software hardware procurement vendors so many things we have to do but if you go with the btp cloud platform sap is providing everything to you 
directly you can concentrate on the running the your data and everything here right so what are the services how to get the services so how can we work on it btp services here so here btp is available as a free tier we can just we can also use it here we can also practice it here the more details i will explain in our regular day to day classes i will explain it here so this is about the introduction about the btp here so as part of this btp introduction what are the things we are going to discuss here what are the things we are going to discuss in the here here as part of the administration part here so here we are going to discuss about the overview again in detailed way what are the accounts account models basic platform steps pricing models right so pricing list how to monitor the pricing and the analytics and also regions cloud for these all are the btp related security cloud connectors administrations idp integrations right so these all those things i will i will explain it in our classes here ctms transports in sap level if you want to move the stone transports we can use the stms for btp we can use the ctms service here cloud transport management services fury launch pads integration suite administrations right ana cloud rpa chart boss success factors teams fury apps configurations right so sub accounts demo systems here then dashboard monitoring and cloud alm also here so we are going to discuss about the cloud alm also here so cloud alm also one of the service which is providing by the sap in the btp so that you can run your cloud alm service suppose i will i will i will show you how the cloud alm will works here so recently only i have discussed with the so our our batch students okay our batch students i will explain that one even this is a new thing here cloud alm this is also we are going to discuss here this is also we are going to discuss someone in our day to day activities here right the cloud alm part here so this is the cloud alm console here in the cloud alm so how how we can we monitor the our services here how we can monitor the real user monitoring so it kind of solution manager jobs automation health monitoring right real user monitoring this is the new feature in the cloud alm so this is also we are going to discuss in our day to day activities here this is also we are going to discuss in our day to day activities here in the everything we are going to discuss in the cloud alm here in the btp side in the health monitoring we are going to discuss here so not only here all those things in the whatever there here the jobs health monitoring everything we will we, it will be covered in our classes the cloud alm also end to end cloud alm also it will be covered here so this is our one of the on premise systems here so we have integrated on premise systems into the cloud alm here so here we will discuss all those things in our so all those things here how the jobs how the jobs are running what are the failures what is the failure which job is taking the wrong time here all those things we will we will do it from here as part of the cloud alm here right so health monitoring systems monitoring here so in the cloud alm console we can monitor the all the systems our sap systems monitoring here how the systems are behaving here are there any issues what are the users here what is the metrics what is the license so all those things here we are going to discuss as part of the our regular classes here how to monitor the all those things here you can see here all those things how can we monitor so what is the response time all those things we can monitor from the cloud console here this is called the cloud alm here using the cloud alm we are going to discuss about the all those things here this is also will cover it here new technology right so this is about the our course content here okay so that's it for the small introduction